Oh, good. Another one of these. Great. Yeah, just what I wanted to do with my weekend. Yeah. Another one of these. Good times. Good times. This is what I wanted with my weekend. Hey. All right, here we go. In a recent TWAB, Bungie announced the reissuing of Dreaming City and Moon Armor and certain weapons coming in Season 13. Shattered Throne and Pit of Heresy will be dropping relevant items again with high stat rolls. Waking Vigil, Sleepless, Vouchsafe, and Retold Tale will be the Dreaming City weapons, and Premonition, Heretic, Blasphemer, and Apostate will be the returning Moon weapons, although Premonition will be a dungeon weapon only. If you get these weapons from their respective dungeons, they can drop with perk rolls that won't be available on the weapons if you find them outside of the dungeon. No, I don't know why they chose those particular weapons. But overall, nice to see these dungeons become relevant again, nice to see some of this loot be relevant again, and conceptually, nice to see weapons from dungeons get a potential bump in quality and be able to roll with unique perk combinations that you can't find anywhere else. I assume this is in response to the community's request that at least some content from the Forsaken and Shadowkeep expansions stay relevant since you have to pay money for them, and getting no gear of current value is something that feels kind of bad from something that you have to pay for, even if it is technically outdated content. And if that is the case, then hey, at least they're trying to fix it. I know the main complaint from this is that it should have never been done in the first place, but I think it would have been worse to just ignore the problem outright, not address it at all, regardless of how true that main complaint is. This, unfortunately, has opened up the sunset is bad argument again within the community thanks to the reissuing of items that a lot of people probably already have vaulted or have deleted from their vaults because they weren't viable in PvE anymore. And with nothing else to discuss and a need for content on my channel, here I am again talking about weapons, sunsetting, So two months in. We looking good? No, no we're not, <laughs> we're not looking good. The short term implementation of sunsetting has not been great. I think we all know that. I think Bungie has bit off more than they can chew with this and probably should not have sunset as many things at once. A lot of stuff taken away and not replaced. Not that I thought we would get everything lost replaced because that is a lot. I think people still have not gotten over that initial shock to the system with Beyond Light, and while no, I don't think the biggest issue plaguing the game today is the fact that there's no ARC 600 RPM auto rifle to grind in Season 12, it's still somewhat of a pain point. That, not that gun specifically, just certain archetypes missing, until the range of weapons starts to expand again. I don't think I need to go over my feelings for the millionth time on weapon sunsetting as a whole. Conceptually, I still think it's a good idea. Allows some stuff to remain powerful for a little while. If it is more powerful than average, it allows for some more unique designs, whether it's the guns themselves or perks. We have been over this. But the rollout has not been good, with some of my worst fears coming to fruition, and that is mainly the reissuing of guns. To clarify what reissuing of guns means, it's when Bungie takes a gun that was sunset and puts it back into the game. The worst case scenario is when they do not adjust the perks on said weapon at all and simply just bring the gun back. This is accompanied by the fact that your older version of the gun does not have its old cap increased to the new one. This is why people are saying to save your spoils of conquest for raid drops. Season 13 drops will have a higher cap than season 12. 14 will be higher than 13, etc. Although I don't want to get too ahead of myself in case some changes happen. We don't know what the perk situation is going to be like on the Dreaming City and Moon Guns apart from the dungeons getting unique roles compared to non-dungeon drops. Hearing that Bungie is just reintroducing the same stuff again that we already grinded for and we aren't able to infuse it into the stuff sitting in our vault because those versions are sunset but the new ones aren't sunset, yeah, not great. 
I'll give you that 10 out of 10 times, 100 out of 100 times. It's not great. It's not. Now, if the perks are different, then yeah, it's still not great, but part of sunsetting was to slowly reduce the amount of guns with Outlaw Rampage or other top combos available in the loot pool. So I can at least understand that. If the perks change, then not allowing people to infuse older versions at least makes sense given that situation. If they don't change, then all logic would point to allowing people to infuse their old copies with new ones to keep the role that they had. Even with the perks getting changed, it can still feel bad to see a gun return that you have sitting in the vault expired because some people just aren't familiar with the intricacies of the whole perk situation. I also assume that it wasn't initially in the plan to sunset and then reissue Dreaming City and Moon stuff, because if it was the plan, it probably just would have been a better idea to not do it in the first place and maybe just sunset only some items. But again, people are going to assume the worst here, and I'm really tired of trying to make arguments to not assume the worst. Theoretically, then, one might come to the conclusion that if Bungie brings back a weapon with the same perk rolls that they had from a previous release, Bungie should just unsunset that gun from people's vaults and bring it up to the new cap so they don't need to regrind another one, right? Theoretically, sure. For example, let's say they brought back Breach Light from Season 9, Season of the Dawn, in Season 14 and they didn't adjust the perks on it at all. I can get the same roll as my Season 9 one, then my Season 9 one should have its cap adjusted to match the Season 14 weapon cap. This way, I don't need to regrind another one if I want to use it again. However, while that sounds good in theory, this does create a system where people are now potentially hoarding guns from the past in their vault in hopes of them being unsunset. Something that might not happen for every single gun, and something that I don't really think is very healthy for the game either. We want people to look to the future, not cling to the past. And no, my Discord, I'm not going to say hope for the future. Shut up. In reality, this means stopping reissuing altogether. I imagine, I hope, that reissuing is a short-term solution as Bungie tries to soften the blow from the initial hit of sunsetting and that it doesn't become a regular thing. We need completely new guns to replace older guns at a minimum with maybe the occasional fan favorite coming back every once in a while, but I still think people would be upset at that. That being said, Bungie has already outlined a Season 13 concept where players will be able to get Season 10 weapons, quote, through a more prescriptive source, end quote. And you can bet that people will not be happy about having to grind out another Season 10 weapon instead of just being able to bring their Season 10 weapons up into the new cap. That is another situation that needs a remedy too. Bungie has linked the function of Warmind Cells to weapons that will eventually sunset unless they are continuously brought back and having to re-grind those weapons over and over is not going to go over well. But this isn't the only woe of weapon sunsetting thus far. Beyond Light's launch didn't do a good job of really pushing why this is the way of the future even if I think Bungie did a good job with introducing new perks. In fact, I think they did such a good job of introducing new perks that are good enough to warrant using, but not so good that they don't completely ruin the game, at least as of right now, that it seems like they didn't do anything at all. Rather, I will just continue to echo my thoughts from my Destiny going into 2021 video. It is because things do not matter that weapon sunsetting has felt like a failure thus far. It is not very hard to grind for guns. It might be a bit tedious in Season 12, but it's not hard. But Bungie hasn't really gotten us jazzed up to go grind for new things in the first place in Season 12 and in Beyond Light. Core playlists remain stale, and Season 12 feels like homework at best in terms of the grind. Adept weapons have their own issues with trials. I'm not in the biggest hurry to try to get flawless for one of those. The method in which we are obtaining this loot, combined with the loot itself, is driving people to say, why do we need this system? 
things don't feel different enough to warrant this system's existence. You have stale methods of obtaining loot combined with loot itself kind of being stale. The only exception is the raid right now. Deepstone Crypt is really fun and the loot that you get from it is pretty good, especially with top tier rolls. Great job on the raid. Everything else, ugh. Sunsetting at this point feels like it was targeted at ritual and pinnacle weapons. And if that was the case, then I think people would have understood just retiring those weapons and letting other things stick around. However, Bungie's philosophy on perks or why six years of outlaw rampage is starting to get old was also part of sunsetting. While I think nerfing rampage could have been a route that Bungie could have taken, it's not the one that they ended up going with, potentially to preserve the quality of the perk should it ever return maybe as a higher tier perk. Although nothing was stopping them from simply making a lower quality version of the perk if they wanted to. Plus, let's be real, they wanted people to have a reason to go grind new weapons. So far, most of those reasons, activities, and weapons have not been good enough. Again, save for the raid. Most PvE is also easy enough that it doesn't really matter what guns you use anyway, creating no urgency. The 1.0 version of this video had me saying that I was out of touch because I don't know what the community really wants anymore. Although to be fair, I think some people in the community also do not know what they really want. But the reason I said I was out of touch is because I did not understand the fascination, and I still don't, with wanting just more guns to use or wanting to use old items forever because neither of these things appeal to me. If Beyond Light had 30 more guns and all they did was cover certain archetypes of weapons and element combos, the only reason I would get them is to simply cover my bases. I wouldn't be excited at all. It wouldn't really do anything for me. I would just be collecting more stuff. If sunsetting was never a thing and we kept all of our pinnacles and rituals, the loot chase for me would be nearly completely dead outside of the raid. Although, to be fair to me, I guess, the raid is where most of my loot chase is. This is why I feel out of touch. People want both of these things and neither one would do anything for me. My question to the I want tons of guns crowd is, what is that doing for you? Are you really that excited to grind more of these guns? And if so, why? Is that all you really want? Just more 140 RPM hand cannons and 90 RPM snipers to go grind out? Or is that just what you've come to expect? Or is that just the bare minimum of what you want? These are not rhetorical, by the way. I'm not trying to be sarcastic. I, I want to know. This is genuine curiosity. I don't really have a question for the I want to use the same guns forever crowd because I feel like I know what you want. You just want to be able to use your favorite stuff for eternity because that's what you find fun in the game. Or maybe you don't care about the loot chase at all and you're just one of those people who is happy with grinding strikes or crucible every time you play and that's all you want out of the game. Who am I to say that's wrong? I play because I want to show off my power, I want to get better at the game, I want cool items to go get, and things and goals to achieve. Not everyone's like that, which is okay. Although I do feel like there are more goal-oriented people who play this game than not, but I base that on literally nothing. I'm just trying to get insight into your minds. Why tons of new guns would excite you when it does nothing for me? Especially if a lot of guns are just going to be rehashes of guns that we've had in the past with slightly different stats. You know, a 140 RPM hand cannon is a 140 RPM hand cannon. They don't really change that much. I realize that's all we've gotten for six years now. I'm just saying it doesn't do a whole lot for me. Ultimately, if I'm Bungie, I'm probably still sticking with sunsetting. I don't think Bungie just pulls the plug and undoes everything. If anything, because I imagine a lot of that is baked pretty deep into the game now. Undoing sunsetting, I think would solve some short-term pain points, absolutely, but we'd ultimately be back at square one with weapon design issues and power creep and all that kind of stuff. I don't really want to go sunk cost fallacy on you guys either, but... <sighs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. Just need to hope that it gets better out there, you know. At least Bungie has acknowledged that the launch was an issue and they're trying to fix it. You know, there's some solace in that, but yeah, still a lot of work in front of us. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.